Hello, let's see if anybody's there. It takes them a minute to get up. Just trying to bring you up. Sometimes it takes ages to come up on the page. Oh, there I am. There we go. So, Ranger Inc. is live now. Let's go big. Oh, oh volume to... down. And which way is it to come? Oh, I've, lost. I've gone off it again. And we'll wait for people to join us. Oh, so we have all our equipment. Sorry, and it's not such a pretty picture. It's right. gone really wide, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry that with the mechanics are still here. Hello! Do you want to turn wide. that on? That will echo. Sorry. It's okay. That's it. We had it all set out, so you only saw the really nice bits, and and it's just got, it is what it is. So I'll just wait for a few of you to join, and um, and then we will. I'll introduce myself in case you don't know who I am and who this lovely lady is. So we'll just give it a minute because we don't want to. Um, I'm trying to think what time is it in the UK? It'll be about eight thirty. And it's 3.30, so we've sneaked this in on you. Normally I'll say, oh, I might go live, but a sneaky one is always good. But we haven't got 19, so um, we'll see if Emmy and Jay are in there. Hello. Oh, somebody knows who I am. There we go. Diane knows it's Diane. Uh -huh. So there we are. That's cool, isn't it? Hello, everybody. Oh, people are joining now. People have seen us. Tell, tell everybody, like, oh, well, it, you'll be able to watch it afterwards. If people miss it, you'll be able to watch it afterwards. Yeah. But we just thought we'd do a sneaky. So what do you think? Let's just do a couple more minutes and then I'll, in, I'll, I'll explain. You can also press the arrow to share. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. You can press the arrow and then you can share it on your page. And will it then go live on their page? It'll, Is that what Emmy does? Emmy presses that and then it goes live on my page. Okay, Ben might even have Ben. Ben might even oh, be on. Oh yeah, because the kids will have gone to know. bed. Yeah, the kids will have gone to bed. So it is very impromptu. This nobody's missed out. We didn't plan this. Um, we just we just did it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Patty was going. We were going to film a video of Patty showing me something because this is the lovely Patty from Ranger we're in her video in room so we were going to film a video of Patty me showing showing me something and then Patty said should we do it live which is always a little bit dangerous isn't it when I'm on but yes we'll do oh they're having to shut the door I'm a bit noisy <laughs> they can hear me out there they can hear me in the um um thing in the art room no I know it's 3 30 here I'm I'm here I'm not in the UK. I'm saying in the UK it'll be 8.30 and it'll be 9.30 in Europe. So it might be a bit late for the Europeans, but they'll see it, they'll see it again tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. So we've got some people on, so we might okay. as well continue. All right. Yeah. So the lovely Patty Bian, who is in, um, what is your actual title? Education? I'm the social media education specialist. There you go. Specialist. Social media education specialist. And people will know, Patty used to be my right-hand woman. When we were, uh, when we were, I was touring and teaching all the time, I couldn't have done it without Patty. She always sorted all my kits and did everything. And of course, life's changed. With the pandemic and i do a lot of it um live so patty's job has changed so now she's social media so when you see TikToks and facebook posts and all that that's patty but but she still is um education as well so it's been manic here because they've been packing for a trade show that's so, going to be starting tomorrow tomorrow and we're going to go live there too. oh cool cool so, so dean tuned. the trade show is in vegas <laughs> i 
I don't know why, why they didn't think about me. But anyway, the trade show's in Vegas and Dina is teaching and Simon is teaching. So a lot of people, so Patty's going there. So this is her last day here. And I'm left to run the fort oh, here. I know, she's, I'm she's left in to, charge. I'll be in charge uh -oh, here. Oh, I think, should we be nervous? <laughs> <laughs> so we decided, we've just done a load of TikToks as well. We've done all sorts and we've packed all my stuff. I'm going to Stampers Anonymous. I, I didn't say that right. Anonymous. Uh, I'm teaching a weekend there, not this weekend, coming up the following weekend. I'm doing a meet and greet on the Thursday. If you just want to come and say hello, uh, meet me, I'll be demoing and you'll be able to shop at Stampers Anonymous. Look on my page, the Diamond Revelation Illusions page, and you can do that. And then the following week, I will be at Stamp Away and I'm teaching classes there as well. So, those of you who might know, <laughs> know that I've just done a release with Spellbinders, my first release with Spellbinders. And I have four sets of stamps with Stampers Anonymous. And then we brought out dies. I am not a die cut person. I love fussy cutting. I've always loved fussy cutting. I find it really therapeutic. And loads of people have asked me so many times, haven't they, can you bring out dies? And I'm, I always said no, because I felt it wouldn't be very authentic of me. To bring out a product that I don't use um, and then eventually I think Tim was one of the biggest champions he was like you don't have to use it you just need you just need to know that a lot of your students do so we've brought it out and it's been amazing we've had a really really good response but I, I do have a machine Spellbinder sent me a machine which I haven't looked at. So I said to Patty, will you show me what to do? Lee showed me a bit actually yeah. at Sampers, but she showed me on, you know, Tim's old case the one. Yeah, the Vagabond. Mm -hmm. So she showed me on that, uh, but that was quite a while ago. So Patty was going to show me and I said, let's video it. And then Patty said, let's do it live. So that's what we're yeah. going to do. Now I don't have the fancy packaging for the dies. When I get them, I get them in sets like this. Um, in fact, for my launch, I had to steal them off Ben. I had to steal the <laughs> fancy the pa packaging. with the pretty packaging, <laughs> the pretty packaging that shows you, you know. So, for example, this set comes in pretty packaging with these images on the back, so you know. I don't get them like that. I just get the images. Um, but we're going to do it. So the time I did do it, I did it a totally different way to everybody else. So Patty's going to show me and you how she would normally do it. Uh, we're going to have a couple of plays with that. Then, we're, then I'm going to show you my weird way and we'll do that. And then I'm also going to do some with some coloured. Okay. So first of all, we have to cut the card to fit the machine, whatever size your machine is. So my, this is the Spellbinders Platinum 6, but I have been told it fits Tim's machines as well. Every, they all work. But this is the Spellbinder Platinum 6. So I think it's, I don't know if the 6 is relevant, but if you cut the card in half, it will fit. Okay, now I'm. she's going to teach me as a total lay person, so, you might already know some of this, but I do also know there will be people like me who've never used a machine at all. And we want to know why there are all these pieces, etc. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. So as I was so rudely interrupted in the last <laughs> one, I was stamping Arthur. OK, so I've got him stamped and I know I've got the die, but then I don't really know what to do. And okay. it might sound a bit ridiculous that I don't know what to do, but I've never... I used some of Tim's dies years ago, but they were when there were star shapes. So there weren't, st nothing with a stamp, it was uh -huh. just a die. Uh -huh. So, um, so there we go. So I know, so how, so what I want to know, Patty, is, Chris said. we have this, we have this. When I've tried to do it, I end up with this. It okay. moves. So, so how do we, because, how do you stop that Especially moving? when our plates are all bent. So the secret is to tape down the die. So you want to use a tape that's um, repositionable. You don't oh, want to okay. use a permanent tape. Okay, so it doesn't, um, so and you just it, position that. So that it comes off without wrecking, you know, your paper. So you just position it evenly okay. around um, the stamped image. Yeah. And then... You just 
tape it down. Do you need another piece? Yeah, and we'll do it. Since this is a big die. Oh, I thought it might be easier to see if it was a big die. And it'll just right. cut through the tape. Oh no, you put it. Yeah, I'm putting oh, it carefully so put... on the edge because sometimes the tape will take off the ink. Just be advised. Oh, okay. So, so what, what's this? So this is mint tape. It's um, oh scrapbook.com. Scrap mm -hmm. Yeah. But you could use like even washi tape. Yeah. Like so if so you just take it off on your you... arm a bit first, so it yeah. doesn't pull. Okay. Just test it to make sure. You know. Can I just show them? Yes. Sorry. So Patty's put a bit here and there and now it doesn't move because when I did it it moved which yeah. is why I do it a weird way yeah so then again if we look at our map it says we need another C plate and so does it matter which way up that goes no no okay but so you know for good dot die cutting plate health you want to keep one that you cut on and then what the one that you put How? on top okay you is that the one that's going to bend or the, to the both yeah it just okay it, from from using it they they bend um so you want to keep one just for cutting and yeah. then one for um on top yeah and then when the one on the bottom gets bad you use that top you get a new I, oh when, you re yeah you, you switch them switch them okay i hope that makes sense <laughs> okay so oh david's in from new mexico so what you, the next thing you want to do is you just put it into the, the whole machine, thing the, the whole, whole thing all, all your sandwich yeah. and you, you put it into the machine until you feel it kind of catch under the roller and then okay. once it's once you feel it caught you can go ahead and turn the handle. And is that hard? Um, no, but you do want to put put your hand on top of here. Okay. And just just because, you know, you're cutting through layers. Yeah. So it, it's not real hard, but it's a little, you know. Okay. A little. You need a little bit of muscle, but not a lot. Because I think the tin one I used to use, you pressed a button and it. Zzz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, there we go. There, so there you oh, go. Oh, okay. So, so so it hasn't touched the tape. Right. So you could use that again. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you could just take if you are you're cutting out multiples, you can just take this off and leave the tape like that. Can we cut more than one piece of card or not? Uh, no. no. Okay. Yeah. So we've got the image. Because I'm a fussy cut easy. image, you see, so, and it's even all round. So yes. mine Mine like chopped off part of his arm and had a big gap over yeah. here. Yeah, the tape is the key. Okay. But, yeah. so, so, and that's how you would do like multiple. So multiple. I've got, what I did, I stamped her out. I, did, I stamped her out some big images cause I, and then I stamped her some little images. So I'm putting her to the test a bit now. Okay. So hang on. So I, I have to put that. I'm terrible. I'm ever sorry. I have to put things back. As soon as She's I've good because I wouldn't do it. I would just uh, like uh, leave it out, and then at the end I'd be like, "I'm, I'm a messy character." I'm terrible. I let I so I want to get to it. <laughs> these are from Robin Couture, which is the uh, the Robin stamps with all the hats, scarves, uh, gloves, <laughs> etc. So large. Oh, that was a point. So. This bit, oh, that, that's another the, the little bit yeah. that comes up, that's the, the blade. You put that face down. Okay, so yeah. you've got that one, you've got that one, and then you've got, now we have two scarves, so which one? So you could just have Not to line one. it up and see which one it is. That one, okay, and then a top hat. Oops, a top hat. Chris is saying she loves the Vagabond, yes. Yeah, because... that's what Lee <laughs> used. Right, so... Yeah. So do you just do the set? Do you go? So, do you do one at a time? So like position this yes. one. Yes, and then when you're when you're gonna do this, um, before you stamp your images, you want to make sure there's enough room between each image so the die will fit on there. Does that make sense? Yeah, Don't I did. Stamp I tried them close together, which I do. You see, I yeah, stamp. Yeah, you like to but get every last. It's just tip. knowing the different. And you, you know if you're worried about wasting if you just position the die before you stamp you can get it closer okay all right so you just leave like a little um oh you see that just touches yeah <gasps> we didn't we didn't um 
No, because I did it, not you. Yeah. I've put the tape in the wrong place. I can't yeah, get it. So. It, I'll show you, I'll lift it up and show you because I just stamped them on there. I didn't even. Um... So this one will actually, this piece of tape will probably go on both of these. Yeah, two for one. That's a good tip. Do that. Is it? Oh. Yes. See, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're already thinking. Right. <laughs> now. Can I test you? Can I take a take apart the sandwich now that those are all yeah. complete? Yeah, I just want to show them where I've where only just dead. where I've only just because um, remember I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. So I just stamped these where um, and if you, if you look here, the dies are touching each other. So, and I thought I'd left plenty of space, but. I, it's only just, but yeah. yeah. Yes, sorry, People. some people are asking who didn't realise. I'm really sorry. These are my, I have a new release with Spellbinders. So um, I have four sets of stamps that Stampers Anonymous did. So we have Gnome Sweet Gnome. I have, this is Mavis and Arthur, and they met in my garden and they fell I in love. love. I, I love the yeah. story behind these. They fell in love <laughs> and then they needed somewhere to live. So we made them a little house. And this is Silas. This is Silas the snail. So this one is called Toadstool Tales. And they fell so much in love that I still haven't named the triplets, oh. that they had triplets. So there's, and I need to name the triplets. And that's called Gnome's, No Place Like Gnome. And then this is Robin Couture, okay? So four sets, and there are four sets of dies, but mine come in packets like this, not posh like you all. So, okay, right, there we go. So, all right, <clears throat> so do you wanna see if you if I take this apart? And, and me put that... it together, yeah, yeah, okay. So, I started with the fat one. So do you want, oh, I see, so on those you don't, right. So I've started with, a and then I need B which is this one so why do you need why didn't they make that thicker there must be another um die combination oh okay okay that's my first yeah. thing why did mm -hmm. so B and then we need to put on C so we want to put this and again is there a right way up or does it not matter no, no. okay I mean yeah so put on C and this then... way you can turn it over like as you get more cuts in here you can okay turn it over so see then the paper cardstock and we're doing four <laughs> so that and then this one on the top now right. i can't remember so, did you so i said it bent. it's been put it um with the bow going up and okay it might flatten it a little bit and let me move this closer to you so that's my sandwich well that was quite easy because it tells yeah. you on it yeah it's that long ago since I used Tim, so okay. push it. Oh. So you, when you feel it catch. That and looks it, big there. It's okay. Press, it's not going to snap. It. No. Okay. And then... Oh, and now once it goes through... Oh, that's not hard. No. And maybe we should have done it the other opposite way. But you would... I would have... Th oh, that... There it's we go. A, Just that bit was a bit tough, yeah. but then it's uh -huh. not. Mm -hmm. So then you take the whole thing... Right. I hope Jay's not watching because she'll make me cut my own out in future. Oh, okay. There <laughs> yeah, we go. Yeah, you can't tell her you don't know how to do it anymore. I know. <laughs> now see? you see, so to me, that's worth it, cutting a few. Yeah. That, to me, by yeah. the time I've set it up, I could have cut it out, this one. Right, because you're a wizard cutting, but a lot yes, of people... and a lot of people know, aren't. And then but you that, get, I think, is worth it. And, like, you know, sometimes you get those jagged edges, fussy cutting. Yeah. And this gives you a beautiful, perfect edge. Yeah. So a lot of people would like and that. Me, you know, the, I like to fussy cut and die cut, but I kind of prefer die cutting. The other thing honest. as well is I always leave a border when I'm cutting. When I'm fussy cutting, I right. always leave a border. Mm -hmm. I would probably nip in there because uh -huh. I'm a bit pedantic. Right. But these are cool. These are good. Right. right. Good I job. did it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, hang on, so just peel this off. And you can use this yeah. till it stops being sticky. Yeah. sticky. Yeah. What would I, do, do, I, do I just store them in the bags? Or do you, do you get something special to store these? Um. I have like some little perspex drawers, 
They have magnetic oh. um, like boards that you can store them on. Oh, okay. That might be better than in yeah. a bag together like yeah. this. And and actually on the packaging, I believe there's a little little bit of tape that holds the dies on and you can stick that on oh, back on there. Okay. If so I'm, so I'm now correct. this I went for small because I thought that might be more difficult because if you see on the cat the cat uh, to well toadstools the cat stools they have got whiskers and things so so uh, yeah. so I don't need to alter that because I've already done it A B C right put the oh put the card on down yeah, here once you but get this is cool as well yeah. because you can actually I don't know I could play with that as well yeah and you can you can do it like in the center and like plan to have oh so you could have an opening yeah make a little window another use for it like we did this cutting out that big one oh, so that i could, could be a window so i could decorate this stamp him on my page or on a card because i've done a lot of cards with this set uh -huh. and then put a, put a window over the top oh or and then that use, would open yes or just use this without to reveal yeah to reveal a colour. Oh, look at that. The background. See? Wow. That's lots of fun things you could do. Because well, you know me, I like to use, um, what am I doing? Wrong one. I like to use things in different ways as well. I've forgotten yeah. where, sorry, I've forgotten I'm doing yeah, Silas. So another use Silas is, this is in Silas. Make a little shaker. So I do want to talk about this big one in a minute, so I'll just take that out, but I need Silas, that one. I'm even getting them the right way up now. Yeah. I want the little. Okay, I'm just checking I've got the right ones and then I'll. No. Yes. There you go. It's going to be so yes. great for those whiskers. People are going to love that. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's the hardest part. <laughs> those little thin lines. So those are the right ones. So and I think I've stamped them okay now. So it's actually quite fun. I thought it'd be quite boring. <laughs> Sorry. It's you, good when you can do a bunch at once. It yeah. It's better. Do, but it do you know what I mean? Sense, I just was know? like, I don't understand. Yeah. Um But like like Tim said to me, um, you know what you have to remember is that it's just because you can fussy, fussy cut and that doesn't mean everybody else enjoys no. it. No, or like sometimes people. So me know, and Emmy can think of can nothing cut, better. Can't cut. For yeah. A lot for a long time. Yeah. You have know? mobility, yeah. you know, issues and things. So. That's that's where these come in handy. I'm very impressed. And this, I'm imp I'm stunned. <laughs> and these small ones, you only really need one, don't you? Yeah. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna tear that in half. Mm -hmm. And this, but yeah, I'll, I think I'll, we I'll are probably a little use, overkill with our. I'll probably pieces. use my yeah. washi tape. No, yeah. but but the thing is, I didn't realize this trick. And yeah. like I say, when I've tried to do this, mm -hmm. they've looked horrendous. And that's, so I've just gone back to yeah. cut, especially to cut if you're. In pads are all curved yeah you have never yeah <laughs> so this, this but does jay two jay things. was really interested yeah. in it so there we go okay. does it matter that that's sitting up no no it'll go it'll go down. and then i put this this way again let's put it this way okay Ooh. this time okay am i doing <laughs> so it maybe again? yeah so may, that maybe it'll and so a machine flat. like this just goes in one way Oh, you can cut from both sides. Oh, okay. Okay. So I guess if you're a lefty, it might. <laughs> I don't like that cracking noise. I know. That's normal. <laughs> it's okay till you get about halfway and then it sort of pulls. Ooh, well, and, it's, then you... and it's kind of because it's bowed too. Yeah. It's probably not good. We really should be using, you know, newer die plates, but. Cool. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. See? Yeah. Yeah. And, and to be see, honest, yeah. that I couldn't, <laughs> I could, and I'm a quick cutter. I couldn't have cut those six pieces out. That. Fast. Because adding all those 
felt a little bit faffing, mm -hmm. but I still couldn't have cut those well, all those pieces all out. those pieces out. Yeah, In the time you just did that. Yeah. So. so while I'm putting these away, I just want to talk about this because somebody said they've never seen dies so big. Mm -hmm. Is it still going to fit if you only have one of these smaller machines? Or have I boobed and, by... And um, yes, yes, it fits. Oh, okay. So you have to make sure that you... But in the future, I should never make one bigger than that. Exactly. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is a pretty standard, like, unless you have an old dime machine, like, this okay. is like six... I, I, no, I normally do big. If you don't, if you don't know my work, I normally do big because I work in journals. So, um, it was a little bit tricky for me to do smaller designs, but some designs I just couldn't make smaller. Yeah. So this is six and a quarter inches wide. Okay. So as long as I make the stamp size. Yeah. Less than six inches. Cut, Do you know what I actually oh. thought? I thought when I sent this in, because I, I didn't really understand dies, I thought they might do that as a die. Uh, and I didn't realise yeah. that what I did would be a die. Right. Do you see what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, so next time I probably would maybe do them separate. I'm, yeah. I'm just learning as well. Yeah. I've never, because mm -hmm. I was thinking, well, this is this. good to do them in the small bits. But um, what size is the largest die? It's the house one, and it is. I think there are measurements on the packaging, but I haven't got any packaging. <laughs> so, oh, where did my here? Let me measure it. Sorry. Um, the largest die is five and three quarter inches. I hope I didn't cut this too. By six and a quarter. I have to take a little, it's hanging over the edge, oh, sorry. Oh, too I'm big for the thing. I need thing. to cut it. Just Should I be little. stamping this? Uh, yeah, if you want to. I will be using those. So you see, we could have just, she could have just taught, you know, done this on on my own, but we just thought, let's film it if it goes yeah, wrong. other people that, you know, aren't familiar with Guys, yeah, I feel like it's helpful. So it's a big stamp. So again, always make sure that your um, ink pad is juicy, okay? And you just want to press lightly. I see a lot of people pressing really hard, and then you get the ink inside. But just go over it. And so I, Stampers Anonymous, introduced me to a. Um, a stamping platform. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. She used me to a stamping platform. I thought a stamping platform was, if you were going to make loads of the same card, it would be in the same position. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought it was mm -hmm. for. And I thought that's not going to be any good for journaling. But it's amazing. Yeah, it's, so, and it's great for big stamps because, you know... Yeah, yes, because some of my stamps that were those square. Uh -huh. That can be hard to stamp. Right. Um, Jay's loved it. And she, one of the classes I'm teaching at Stamp Away is um, cards. We're teaching cards. I think there's about six or seven cards. And she stamped out every image for them. And she just she flew through. Right. Because she only positioned them once. And then... Right. Then yeah. you're good to go. You just ink and... Okay. So Flat. I am... Beautiful. So, oops. So now again, just position this on. I mean, this this is not really a complicated one to cut out, but a lot of the ones I do are complicated. A lot of people are like, "Oh no, she's put loads of eyelashes in, or she's done that." I'm yeah. putting three on just because this is bigger. Okay, okay. and then A, B, C. A, B, C. So you can never go wider than the width of the platform. Right. A, B, C, and this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll let you put it through. Okay, because, cause just because it's on your side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I'll clean this stamp. Oh, people are enjoying it, Patty. I forgot. Okay. I forgot. We were supposed <laughs> to be looking at uh, 
the uh, comments. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit warm in here. Yes. <clears throat> you need a big fan. I'm a big fan of yours, okay. Patty. I'm a big fan of yours as well. <laughs> Cool. Good job. Too and then we could have fitted small things around it, couldn't we? Or, yeah, well, or I would stamp really. Yeah. I would stamp really yeah. easy things like um, maybe those flowers, the circles, or you know, mm -hmm. put. Oh, mm -hmm. excuse me, I've got hiccups just to use. But again, oh, I've got hiccups. You, I'm sorry. Were you, were you nipping the bottle or something? <laughs> <laughs> the, the balsamic I was, I was the balsamic vinegar but again that on just some i mean that's only a small bit but you know right that's cool really beautiful so, so what the reason i've brought some of these colored bits through was i thought they would be cool for like say the robin for like his scarves and hats Right. So, would it be just exactly the same? I stamp on yes. there. So, let's stamp something on. Let's go back to the robin. Instant colour and cut. So, that goes like back that. in here. I just feel... What happens if you bend one of these? This is my worry. Um, this is why I want to get them on something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've actually put them too close to each other and I kind of like almost cut it and made a dent, but it still works. Okay. <laughs> but you do... You oh, what am I doing? Treat them Stamping. nice. You, do, you don't, you know, you don't want to just throw these in a drawer like this. You want to okay. have them on something that's um, So let's have a couple of hard. scarves and let's have a bow. Oh no, I've got to oh, leave you, space. Yes. I've got to leave space. Come on, Diane. I know, <laughs> I guess you. I, <laughs> oh, I would even leave more space. Would you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just. Yeah. And a hat. And let's put a glove on. Okay. Okay, so I link that and stamp that. But again, you could do all your stamping at once, couldn't you? Right. Mm -hmm. I could stamp. So Jay could still use that thick. Right. Okay. As long as you're leaving the room. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, oh sorry. So they're gonna have he's gonna have matching accessories. So we have that hat. They're so dinky. <laughs> Not that glove. That glove. Okay. Because I know dyes are not cheap, so I wanted you know to get the most I could out of the um the patterns and that's why i've put you loads of mix and match and then there's a bow i think it's right. oh sorry it's because it's bigger there we go i'm just going to put these back in and then we'll take those down you are probably all experts i know you i know you sat at home laughing at me going is she pretending no i just i don't use stuff like, like this like you always say it's easy once you know how yeah it's easy once you know how and i always thought do you know what by the time you get the machine out the time you do this but actually i don't think i'll ever stop fussy cutting because yeah. it is one way i unwind well and you do it when you're traveling too. yes yeah, and I can't really take a machine with me, but <laughs> <Could you imagine? laughs> but I because but I can see that Jay would. She did a load for me for the launch. She would, yeah. But I was busy making samples, so I didn't have chance to go and watch her uh -huh. or anything like that. Um, Jay and Emmy did it, but Emmy again, she's like me. She loves so, to cut. Uh -huh. Jay doesn't mind cutting, but. Uh, I think she will really enjoy this yeah. more. I like die cutting. I like to fussy cut, but I don't love it. Yeah. But it's interesting to know, like, for next time, because I was a bit blind designing. Right, I was like, so now well, it'll make you yeah, be I was more like, thoughtful when you design. Yeah. Yes. I was like, what should I do? And they said, just do your normal things. I thought, well, my normal things won't really go down well at Spellbinders, so I'll, I'll just be a bit more. <laughs> but um, 
the new normal <laughs> for spellbinders. <laughs> yeah, I thought these were quite pared back for me. There was no detachable heads. There was no. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> no. So there we go. Okay. Again, do you want to pop it through and I'll sure. clean just because it's okay. nearer you? Oh, next one. So if you don't, you don't have to make the sandwich if you never, if you're just doing the same thing. It's the same right. thing over and over. Yeah. And, you know, once you know how to do it, you kind of remember. Maybe you might forget when you go, if you, if there's a long time in between. Yeah. You might forget, you know, the okay. next time. But, like, if you do it a lot, then you'll. Yeah. You'll get to know it. And most die cutting machines are very similar. Yeah, because there's so many different makes. Yeah. That's why I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I thought I'd better get the, um, have the Spellbinders one because that's where I've made that the dies. Yeah. So, and they just drop out. That. <laughs> that is amazing. So, let me get the two. So, if you just, so, for example, okay. the big one. So there is his scarf. So his scarf actually goes that way. I have seen mm -hmm. Spellbinders oh, go like this. Yeah, Spellbinders or... did it like that, and it's like that's a bum warmer. This is his neck. His neck is up here. Right. So this is where his scarf goes. His scarf goes like that, and his glove goes like that. You see. So he has that, and then there's lots of different hats. So oh, I quite cute. like them already cut because I yeah. color I color everything. <gasps> that is cute. Right. That is I so cute. That. And then this one could have a scarf, and um, could have a bow. Oh, that's sweet. Cute. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then we could still. Okay, go on then. Yeah. I, I um, what's the word? Uh, yeah, I see it. it. I see it. <laughs> Not fully, because I do uh -huh. find it relaxing. But yes, I will definitely use it. Uh -huh. I will definitely. Um, have, so on my so at home at the moment it's up in the. Um, it's not in my studio. It's up in my sewing room because the girls tend to work more up there while I'm busy. Mm -hmm. But I can see now if I had it down there, I had it out. I would, I would use, use it. it. Yeah. You keep it on your desk. Yeah. I'm yeah. love. I'm loving or like this. Behind, like behind you. And yeah. I know I could stamp on it, mm -hmm. but I never think to. Mm -hmm. But just. See, and look, he looks Arlene lovely. Hi, Arlene. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I am okay. chuffed. So, I probably won't do what I used to do before. But shall I show you what uh, I used to okay. do? Okay. Yeah. Because. I used to get things wrong, so I'll show you what I did, but I didn't and know it's really about not tape. The wrong way, but okay. This is the easy way. Okay. Right. So what what I did and found successful was I took the card and then I took the die. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do one. I would fill it up, but I took the die. And I put the die on, and then I put the top on, and I cut the shape out because I couldn't get them not to move. So I cut the shape out, and then I stamped on the shape, which works, but it's not as neat. But I'm never bothered. <laughs> That's the thing with me, I'm not, you know. If you want it to be neat, you're talking to the wrong person, really. So that there's the shape. And what I realised was there's a slight indent at the back, which you know is the is upside down. So I have the shape and then I will stamp on it. But Patty said, if you put it back in, it stops it moving around, which is a really good tip. So she's popped it back in and you can actually see I'm normally a stand up stamper. But then if I just line this, oops, over the top, I would do that and then I would stamp. Oh, I've, I've stamped it badly. But so I did that. I pre Because I was leaning over, I've pressed here. Normally I would stand up yeah. and do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, can you see it's a little bit further at the back, but that wouldn't bother me, but that's what mm -hmm. I was doing. So Jay cut loads of images out for me 
and then I had a pile of images and then I stamped them. But it was because I didn't know how to keep this straight right. on the stamped image. So this is now wrong, but you know, it's, it's not really wrong. Some people do it like that. It's, I think it's but probably I think it's easier this way. I think the it's way. I think it's quicker if you say say we're in a hurry and I needed twenty robins. Right. Jay just could cut. just cut me twenty out on blank and then I would so that would be quicker. But I think the other way is better. Mm -hmm the other way is better because now i feel i want to go in and just trim him right a little bit there so so yeah do we have any questions gosh how long have we been it's been fun if you've just joined us there's two videos <coughs> we we were merrily going along and then it said your live has ended yeah sorry about that <laughs> so and i so don't too i don't think we can stitch them together i'm go and we'll get emmy to post it on the dilutions page as well but um yeah that was fun because yeah, was a lot of fun. we just you know originally she would have just shown me but we thought well we just thought do you know if i don't know how to do it there'll be plenty of other people who don't know how to do it so yes i hope you enjoyed it it's already out chrissy it came out last wednesday last wednesday <clears throat> it came out wednesday the 10th now if you're in america ranger have them stamps and die cuts on a bundle stampers anonymous have st st well you can buy just the stamps if you want or just the dies but the dies aren't any good without the stamps are they no so you can buy the dies and stamps together or just the dies stampers anonymous have them because that's who makes my stamps and spellbinders have them now stampers anonymous also have the dies and spellbinders also have the stamps so you know if you're particular to one if you're faithful to one place now there's also or independent stores as well so you know check with your independent store whether they've got oh, jessica's on oh, hi, Je yeah. jessica i gave her a sunday name there jessie's on um, <laughs> check with your local store if they've got them um etc because you know do support your local stores as well if you're in the uk Ben Art from the Heart, he's got them all in. Again, he's doing bundles. Um, he's nearly out, I think. I think oh, really? they've, yeah, they've gone ever so well um, over there. So, um, so he's got those. Uh, but yeah, check your local store. And like I say, you can just buy the stamps if you want. If you're not a die cutter, you can just buy the sets of stamps. Um, but if you're a die cutter, you, they are there. This will not be for every release that I do. It will just be, I don't know, maybe twice a year or something. I'm not quite sure. Because again, I do quite big stamps. Right. And the big people, some of my stamps are simple to cut out. So I'm not planning on every set being like that. Um, but I will give you plenty of notice. Mm -hmm. And unless people start asking you unless people start asking yeah and i am going to try again to do sort of smaller ones and name them you know more the the ones that are difficult to um maybe cut out and things mm -hmm. like that um and jay loves to make cards i made cards for years so i very rarely make cards now just for a launch mm -hmm. she loves to make cards so they'll mm -hmm. really come in for her so um so yeah so that was fun so yeah. Mint tape, scrapbook.com, or I'm going to use my washi tape. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this first. If you're very hairy, don't do that because it could hurt. <laughs> but if you do that, or on your your knee, and then it, so you don't want it to tear up the paper. some of the paper, some of the cardstock. <laughs> and I would sit and do tons of this because it's much easier to play around with these when you've yeah. got a lot. You know, right. you can like, oh, I'll put him, I'll put him behind there yeah. and I'll have this little one popping out here, yeah. you know, or I'll have it if, popping out the top of here. And if you're not feeling inspired, yeah. you could just spend the day like yeah. stamping and cutting yeah, and then come back to it. You know? I, I never look at my stamps and think, right, I'm going to <clears throat> do this stamp again. him and him. I have, I have boxes mm -hmm. of all these cutouts and I just, oops. So let's see what and I just here. root through <laughs> I just root through and then, yeah. then I just pull them out and I make um I make things mm -hmm. like that but it was no it was good yeah. 
Yeah. I enjoyed it. And look at those two with the robins on. I'm going to go yeah. put them in the journal now with uh -huh. their scarves on. So. Yes, you're a very good student. Thank you. Congratulations. I was paying attention as well. Yes. She, she's always worried. I, I, I don't pay I, attention. Yeah, I, I, do, I, I get distracted so easily. I asked her easily. to please pay attention. But I did. very important and she was very good. Yes. <laughs> but I did because I was interested. It's when something doesn't really. Yeah. I was just like intrigued. <laughs> I didn't realise the die cut community was as big yeah i just thought it was a couple of people who struggled to cut out i didn't realize it no. was as big as it was it's a thing. and yeah it's cool um yeah. i'm mm -hmm. really chuffed because you could still cut like for example the robin on i could do one on a pattern and one on say craft and then cut his legs off and swap them right so i can still mix, mix yeah mix and match mm -hmm. And, like, um, and do you know dolls or oh look beth's on she oh, said she beth. loves die cutting oh good for you she loves good. die cutting mm -hmm. so so it's exciting and i'm excited to learn and learn more of the techniques and the different bits as well i just um I spend a lot of time in hotels, that's where I do a lot of cutting. But when I'm home, we'll probably use them. We'll use them if you're at Stampers Anonymous, not this week, next week at the class, I will have the dies and um they have a couple of different machines. They have a okay. Tim's machine. I think they might have okay. for spellbinders as okay. well. So if people That'll in work. class want to play, because we'll be using these new stamps, you know, you they can use the dies as well. If, if they would like so if you're there we will use those um and then it'll be more when i get home <laughs> beth is excited <laughs> oh yeah beth you're coming aren't you <laughs> beth's coming to yeah that'll be beth we won't see beth all class she'll be just sat at the back uh -huh. with the machine just yeah. doing and then just i still that. always say one of these days i have to go to stampers anonymous you do you have to come to stampers anonymous mm -hmm. with me because some of the ladies who come when i teach here they were well, like beth mm -hmm. yeah. comes over and uh -huh. uh, robin and debbie come and mm -hmm. um oh my gosh um jamie and rachel have been uh, pam's been you know lovely pam mm -hmm. so yeah you need to you need to come out there and then you can do, maybe do the class just chill yeah, and do the class with me That'd so yeah so thank you very much. Oh yeah, it's nine. It's four thirty here. Patty will be leaving soon. Yes. They're all leaving me yes. to go to Vegas. I gotta finish packing. And I will be just <laughs> going back to my office <laughs> to continue designing. So yes. thank you so much. We do appreciate you putting up with us. One of us is gonna have to run round there and press. Shall I do it? I'll yeah, do she's, it. She's the expert. Okay. I'll let Say her thank you to Patty for Thanks she enables everyone. us. And when you see <laughs> when you see the range of videos, Patty does loads of them. And if she's not making them, she is filming them. So bye. bye everyone.